Right now on Cal TV Election Desk, President Donald Trump is putting his presidential powers on full display. It's the recap of the first two nights of the Republican National Convention. Good evening, and welcome back to Cal TV Election Desk. I'm your host, Laylee Ipsa. Well, after the first two nights of the Republican National Convention, it is clear that President Trump is taking full advantage of the fact that he is the Commander-in-Chief. The White House was used as the backdrop for multiple segments during the convention, and President Trump is using his presidential powers to really push forward his re-election campaign by targeting areas where he's received criticism. Last night, it was immigration and criminal justice reform. We saw him preside over a naturalization ceremony, and then we saw him pardon a convicted bank robber. Now, President Trump is expected to make more of these appearances throughout the week, but isn't formally set to speak until Thursday night. All right, now let's break down the speeches we heard during the first two nights of the convention. Night one, we heard from small business owners, the St. Louis couple that went viral for waving their gun during a Black Lives Matter demonstration, and Donald Trump Jr., all who depicted this dark sort of apocalyptic reality of what they felt like America would turn into if President Trump lost re-election. They'll disarm you, empty the prisons, lock you in your home, and invite MS-13 to live next door. So make no mistake, no matter where you live, your family will not be safe in the radical Democrats' America. Former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley closed out the night by really talking about some of the social injustices we're seeing in our world. She made it a little personal. She talked about the discrimination that her family experienced, but ultimately really focused her speech on this idea that people are blessed to live in America. Well, night two of the RNC was filled with controversy before it even started. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo gave his speech in Jerusalem while on an official trip. Now a House panel is opening up an investigation into that decision because they say that Pompeo might have violated the Hatch Act. The Hatch Act forbids any government leaders from participating in political activities while on duty. But the State Department says that they did not fund any portions of the speech and that Pompeo gave it during his personal time. Well, night two of the RNC was also really about the Trump family. We heard from some of President Trump's adult children, and then First Lady Melania Trump ended the night by offering a different, more softer tone on the coronavirus pandemic and on race. Take a listen. Negative or false media headlines or attacks from the other side. Donald Trump has not and will not lose focus on you. He's not a traditional politician. He doesn't just speak words, he demands action and he gets results. The first lady then went on to praise her husband's outspokenness, calling him an authentic person who makes no secrets about how he feels about things. Well, that's all for today. I'm Laylee Ipsa and I'll see you Friday for another look at the big stories leading up to the 2020 election.